Uh, well, I got a family in the studio right now. We got uh, Cole Hennessy in the studio. Cole, how are you doing this morning? Good. Yeah. Uh, I I know you, you're Albert Lott in school, right? Yeah. You know how I could tell? How? You're oh. wearing a sweatshirt that says <laughs> Albert D. Lawton on it. That's how I could tell. I'm a brilliant guy. Uh, how many years have you been going to camp? Um, Two, I think. Two, two years. Uh, walk me through the beginning. Uh, first of all, do you remember the cancer? Um, yes. And uh, tell me what, what that was like for you. What, what did you go through? Um, so I was really sick for like three weeks, right? Yeah, three weeks. And when you say you were really sick, how, what did you feel like? Um, I was missing school for about three weeks. I would stay home and basically puke all day. Oh. And when I was at school um, during recess, I would just lie on the bench and try to fall asleep because I didn't feel like running. Yep. And, yeah. So you couldn't even, well, they don't let you play dodgeball anymore. But whatever it was they wanted you to do, you couldn't do that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you went to the doctor, and the doctor said what? Um, they said I'm going to the ER. Okay. And yep. Then they told us I had cancer. Okay. Did they, did they say that to you, or did they say that to your mom? Um. Or both of you at once? Sort of like both of us. Uh-huh. And how old were you at that time? Um, I was... Was this just like a couple of years ago? Ten. Ten years old. Yeah, so a year and a half ago. All right. So then somebody must have said something about Camp Tecumta to you. Um, when I was in like... When I was just visiting for like a few days, like for treatment, mm-hmm. um... They would always talk about how I was so lucky because I would be able to go to Camp Tecumta. And, yeah, that's how I figured out about it. Oh, wait, no. I went on a class trip in first grade there, and the teacher jinxed me because she said none of us would come here because we don't have cancer. (laughs) Have you gone back and talked to your first grade teacher? Uh, (laughs) No. (laughs) She's going to feel bad now. All right, we're talking with Cole Hennessy who uh, goes to the Albert D. Lawton School, and uh, he, he Cole's gone from a, uh, a kid with cancer to a kid with a big smile on his face because we're talking Camp Tecumta here. His mom, Joanne's in the studio with me. Joanne, uh, tell me a little bit about your experience as a mom finding out you have a kid with cancer. It's earth-shattering. You, you know, Cole was talking about the doctor sending us to the emergency room for some blood work, and and I'm said, we're just going to go, you know, can we go to Fanny Allen and go get some blood work done? And he's like, no, you're going to go and you're going to wait for the results. And hmm. we were in the emergency room for a few hours. And then the all the residents start coming in. And is there any blood cancer in your family? And, you know, nobody said anything at that point in time, but you know something big's going on. They even moved us from a room with curtains to a room with a door that closes. And it was, you know, you kept taking these steps. It was... You knew it was coming. You were going you deeper and deeper into the it. hospital. You yeah. really are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so that that was a life changing moment. Do you have any other kids or? So, Cole has four sisters. Okay, all of them older. Cole, I am so sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have three daughters. I know what it's like to be outnumbered. <laughs> he lives it all the time. I bet. I bet. Um. So that changes the family dynamic how do you handle all that keeping all those balls up in the air well you know we have a lot of support we're we're very lucky that we have family that lives in town we have friends who have really stepped up and helped and um it really makes you realize just how much people care and want to help Mm. it is pretty amazing now have you done a mom's weekend I did get to do my first mom's weekend back in April. And was it worth it? Absolutely. <laughs> it was it was amazing. Um, not just for being pampered, but just being with other people who get it. You know, you 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 can talk to people who they may have experienced things, but it's it's not the same as having a child with cancer going to the emergency room with your child and coming home and having them be okay is, is, um, yeah, it, it's one thing, 
but this is a life changing thing. It never goes away. Cole has um, T cell ALL, which is leukemia, mm -hmm. and his treatment is three and a half years. So he was right. diagnosed a year and a half ago. So he's still right in the middle of this. We are still right in the middle of it. He's in maintenance. He's doing great, but we still have a road ahead of us. And it, I don't know that that ever goes away as a parent, even when your child is cancer free. Talk about Cole going off to camp. What were your thoughts as you dropped him off? Oh, please let him make it the whole week. <laughs> because you wanted to see him do that or because you needed the downtime or? Yes, all yeah. of it. But you know what? He needed, I really wanted him to be around other kids. He, he would come home and he was frustrated because other people didn't understand. Mm -hmm. You know, your friends think, oh, you're not in the hospital. Let's go play. And you don't have the energy to play. Yeah. Um, so being at camp is is important to be around other kids who understand exactly what you're going through. And the first year Cole went to camp, he was really sick. Um, he he was neutropenic, which meant he had no immune system, and they still gave him the okay to come to camp. So I don't know how much he enjoyed his first year, but it was it he was there. And he got to be with all the other kids, and he did as much as he was able to do. And 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 surrounded by counselors who know exactly how to handle a kid who's neutropenic. Absolutely. And and a medical staff right there. Right there. So you didn't really have to worry, although I bet you did. Well, you always worry about your kids, even even when they're adults, right? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that right now. <laughs> Absolutely, Cole. Cole, I want to hear a little bit about your experiences at camp. What's the best thing about Camp Tecumta? Um, Probably the ropes course. Yeah, high ropes? Um, Zip yeah. line? I mean... Uh, um, I don't know what it's called, but like you're attached to like two strings and one you lift up so it'll lock you in place and then mm -hmm. the other you lift. And you just keep doing that till you get to the top and it's basically... You supporting your own weight till you get to the top, right? And then you can just slide down. Awesome, it is awesome. Uh, the the ropes course, uh, the, the ropies, which are uh, camp counselors, volunteers, come in from all over the country. They come a couple times a year. Not only are they at staff development weekend, but they have special training just to be a ropey. Uh, these people are really good professionals at what they do, and uh, it's a. Uh, and, and it's all volunteer. 863-1051 or toll free from Vermont, New York, 1-800-501-9565. Talking to Cole Hennessy. How's the food at camp these days? Um, It's really good. You have no idea how good it is. Um, You have your own personal chef? Yeah. Okay. Um, not really anymore, though. I mean, when I went last year, yeah. Um, I would always have to go up to, like, the chef's door and be like, oh, can I get my food now? Mm. But they actually set up a table, which makes it so much easier. So I don't have to wait so long for my food. It's already pre-made. So you have a special special dietary thing going on? Um, Yes, I have celiac disease. Oh, okay. So, yeah, no gluten there then. All right. Well, that's that's an easy one for the chefs to figure out. They deal with that all the time, and that's cool that they know that. Um, I want to ask you a personal... Pr I know your mom is here, um, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Uh, the prom. What? The prom at camp. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a date? No. Are you thinking about it for next year? No. Oh, come on. He has enough with girls at home. Why would he want to go out with another one? I get it. <laughs> Maybe someday, right? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming in. And uh, uh, Joanne, let me just uh, come back to you for a second and and ask you, I, when when folks are thinking right now, there's folks who are driving into the, or they're just sitting down at their offices right now and they're thinking, should I, should I make a donation here? Is this, is this really worth people's money here as we go into the Christmas season? This is such a beneficial program that it, it brings something to every person in the family. 
Because when you're diagnosed with cancer, it's not just you that it affects. It's every person in the house. And they keep in mind the siblings because a lot of times they're left behind. Right. But they get to go to camp and they get to see what their siblings experience. And they take care of parents. My husband went to dad's weekend. It's an amazing program and it's amazing support system for everyone. So it's definitely worth the donation. Without talking too personally about it, um, from a financial perspective, how important is it to you that this is a free program to your family? It's so important that it's free. There's so many families that would not be able to send their kids to camp because their insurance doesn't cover the things that you know, they're struggling to pay medical bills and to to come up with the extra money to send a child to camp, as important as it is, the medicine is more important. So if it's not free, it wouldn't be there. There wouldn't it wouldn't be there. I, I know people who have had copays that are in the tens of thousands of dollars a year. That's that's stunning. So along comes camp and it's the one thing that they can depend on that is free. And it's only free because the people who are listening right now make it happen. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. I fully expect that in two, three years, Cole will have a date. I just, (laughs) he he may say now, no now, but uh, those things will change. Hey, Cole, I want you to read those (laughs) phone numbers right there for people to call in and uh, make a donation uh, for Cole this morning. Send uh, Cole to Camp Tecumpta. 863-1051 or 1-800-501-9565. That's awesome. perfect. All right. right. Thanks, guys. It's cool to send a kid to Camp to Comfort for Christmas. If you have credit problems or no credit, I can.